Hey guys, it's BEC Plumbing. I thought I would make this video, but this is basically um, siphoning water and it's literally how a toilet works. So basically once the water gets over that, this is, uh, but a toilet works the same way as this. But, and you can see how quickly it's pulling the water out of this um, Pepsi bottle. I thought, I know most of y'all probably know how a toilet works, but I thought this would be kind of cool. Now, I will um, go show y'all guys a real toilet and give a better example of how this works. So basically there's a long leg and a short leg. The water flowing down the long leg has a lot of weight and it creates a vacuum and pulls the water out. Now that's a small scale example of kind of basically how a toilet works. But I'll show you an example right here. This obviously, most of people in the toilet community know this is a Kohler Kingston water guard. But, but if you're new to the toilet community and always are interested in how a toilet works, this is how it works. The water, it works the same way as that. The water will flow over this and then the weight of the water, so this is the short leg, and then the weight of the water going down the long leg, which is this, and it exits right here, obviously, because this is a wall mount will pull the water out of here until air breaks the siphon. Now, I may show you a little bit more common of an example uh, real quick uh, right here. And this actually, you can easily see, this is my 1986 Wellworth. But once again, the water flows over the long leg and into the, or flows over the short leg and into the long leg leg and the weight of the water going down the long leg pulls the water out of the bowl. That's how most toilets work. Same with an American Standard Cadet. And I know this probably wouldn't be of that much interest to most people in the toilet community because they already probably know how a toilet works. But that's kind of a short uh, explanation of how a toilet works. 